Cold forging is a technology for shaping metal into desired structure by applying pressure at room temperature. It is said to be eco-friendly and efficient processing technology because it enables high-speed manufacturing with almost no material loss. Advantages of cold forging Less material loss can be manufactured with the minimum volume of materials. Less material loss during machining, a method with high material utilization and efficiency. Example, by changing the production method from all machining, which is said to have a large cutting allowance, it is possible to reduce material costs significantly. Connects to resource saving. Unlike casting, where a substantial amount of material is wasted during trimming and machining, cold forging minimizes material waste by shaping the metal directly. Optimal precision machining. The features of forging in room temperature without applying heat on metal are, since dimensional variation does not occur due to thermal expansion, dimensional accuracy is excellent and surface roughness is also very good clean surface finishing depending on the shape forging in unit to 10 micro level is possible it is also excellent in net shape machining may not be necessary depending on the shape increases strength the micro structure that makes up the metal is crushed and stretched during forging forming a forging streamline metal flow line that follows the shape of the product and increasing toughness. Continuous forging line is a unique feature of forging which cannot be obtained by other methods like casting and hole machining. In today's video we will see the first part of production system, cutting process, which is cutting the metal rods. The cutoff process is performed in the cutoff area. In this area different types of metal rods are stored. Crane is used to load large amounts of metal rods in the cutoff machine. The cutting process is automated once the rods are loaded in the cutoff machine. The machine starts to cut metal rods in precise lengths. The process is fully automatic. Then the cutoff metal rods are collected. The machine separates those, which do not meet the required weight. Now the cutoff parts are ready for the second process. See you in the next process, in the next video.